16th of August 1944, a day of ferocious fighting across the whole of Warsaw. The Germans try and attack here in the Old Town as well as in the centre of the city. They storm a monastery on Theatre Square and again they attack the Polish security printing house but are again rebuffed. The young men and women fighting in the Warsaw Uprising were idealistic and creative. Two of Poland's finest poets, Tadeusz Geitzer and Zdzisław Stroinski, were killed on this day. Not for nothing did many people realise that not only was the city of Warsaw being destroyed around them, but perhaps one of Poland's finest generations as well. Soldiers were young people and they weren't fighting all the time. In the evenings, they gathered together for mass, they sang patriotic songs and they did what all young people do. One soldier recounted the story of a colleague of his, codenamed Hawk, who had a girlfriend called Helena. One night, Hawk and Helena decided to get married. In a break between the artillery fire, they rushed to a cathedral where the priest married them. The witness at the wedding was brought in on the back of one of his friends as he'd been hit in the legs coming to the church. After a short celebration, everybody went back to their positions. And within a few moments, the next artillery round started flying in. Hawk and Helena were hit by one of them. They lived and died together. Thanks for watching this episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage, where every day we try and tell the story of people like Hawk and Helena. Don't forget to tune in for tomorrow's episode of 5 p.m. Warsaw time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and share your opinion and this story.